What's up, guys? Welcome to our episode 11 of uh, Monster Train. I didn't hit record until now. But I'll give you a, a quick overview of what we have in the deck. Two Antumbras are doing Hellhorn allied with uh, Umbra. And this is our deck so far. Not bad at all. Haven't added much. This is our strongest unit at the moment. And we're hoping to, to make it even stronger. I will take the PS this time. I don't think I need another Ant Umbra. I don't think I need that either. I'd rather go for the gold. Uh, yes, I am 99% sure I clicked record. And then I looked over to see how long we've been going for. And I realized that I had not clicked record. Or maybe I double clicked record. We'll have to find that out. Uh, after this episode. So we've already got an Umbra that has to gorge. Yes. So let's have a look, see what we can do in the Hellhorn section. Oh, I really like the Rail Beater. I think it's a card I underestimated way too much. And you might think it's a funny way to upgrade my uh you might think it's a funny way to upgrade the spells by just putting most of my spell money on just this horn break but if anything is 15 less than 15 hp and 50 armor we can just one tap him like i think it's it's actually a pretty decent way of dealing with him all right let's move on i'm, I'm terribly sorry about that guys i'm, I'm incredibly professional as you can tell by the amount of billions and billions of followers and subscribers I have, people just can't get enough of me. And, uh, you know, I just I just wanted to show all the smaller YouTubers out there that there's a... Everyone makes mistakes, you know? Everyone has moments where they unfortunately make mistakes and embarrass themselves. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, it means that we do need to take... We don't need to take capacity, but if we want to get uh, multiple consumes off on the floor that this guy's on, we're going to have to... Take a bit of capacity at some stage. And of course, I'm joking about the whole YouTube thing. Yeah, my channel's a joke here, actually. But hey, we're still having a good time, aren't we? You just manpower on the bottom floor, to be honest with you. Yeah, you just man muscle the bottom floor. I'm pretty sure we'll do absolutely fine. And then I want the real beater in front here to tank for you. Let's get one of you up there. Let's get these morsels down here. Oh, right. Uh, can we? Yes, we can. There we go. Okay, we don't have an insane synergy of sorts. We don't have something that's completely and utterly mind-blowing. Or anything along those lines. What we have right now is just a very nice, relaxed run. Nothing major is happening. Nothing boring is happening. Nothing terrifying is happening. I'm just going to keep that to rotate through the deck. We're having just a good time. And I have vowed to slow down a bit. So let me just uh, reiterate that for myself, not for you guys. You guys obviously know that I should slow down. You've seen me play this before. I speed ahead and uh, fail at everything. So let's get this going. How many damage shields do you have though? None. Beautiful. Good execution. Let's keep it up. Murder that bastard. Get that going there. Get that going there. Pop another one of these. Uh, I think it'll still get consumed at some stage. Just might just need to play another unit up there. And this is why you take this. Bam. And the boss is dead. <laughs> Man, I'm... I'm I'm really 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 sorry about the 
the episode starting, let's just say a bit late. All right, consume double the amount of rage on a friendly unit, consume double the amount of armor. I will take the double amount of armor. Crucible Collector is one of my favorite uh, units to grab for the bottom floor or for the top floor. Just have that insane gorge trigger going. We, unfortunately, we can't afford them right now. Uh, we don't need pi HP, so we're going to go right. I don't like having one of these uh, nodes just be an absolute waste. Let's see what we get here when you summon second unit. Three energy, your pi is 15 damage. You've never done the pi damage thing. So, for once, I'm actually going to take the pi damage thing. I don't feel like we ever need energy. Or we haven't added a card that makes me feel like we ever need energy. Uh-huh. Alright, I've caught myself by not taking enough units multiple times now in the past. So, I will take a unit here. The question is just what unit will I be taking? And I think... I think it's either going to be... Like I say, it's either going to be this one or this one. What other options do I have? All right, so what I'm thinking now is, let's 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 puzzle through this, right? So we already have one of these bad boys to absolutely fatten up this crucible warden, right? So one lane or one floor is not going to be no problem at all. Then second question is, where do we play it then? We can play it behind our Hornbreaker Prince, and because uh, that's two capacity, and this guy's two capacity. And he can just get absolutely monstrous. Or we take the Crucible Collector and use all of our uh, morsel summoning abilities to feed the Crucible Collector on the top floor. And we use the combo on the bottom floor and leave the middle floor it is, as it is. And I think that's what I'm going to end up going for. And I really would like a Slay Trigger here. Yes, 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 yes. That's good, that's good, that's good. Unfortunately, we'll still struggle with, uh, no, I don't like that. We'll still struggle with enemies who have sweep. But all in all, yeah, see, we, we got our, we got our top floor or our middle floor set up drawn here. And I did forget that we actually took more capacity. Hmm. That changes things. Okay, well, this is going to be our bottom floor, full stop. No, no, no if and or buts about that one. And then we can do this. And unfortunately, we won't get the gold, but you know what? I think that's fine. I should let that go. Consume double his armor. Is there anything else urgent we need to do? We don't have a horn to pierce. No one's dying. Are you dying? No, I need to do 5 damage to you for you to die. Mm, I really would like to double this armor while it's on 20. Alright, let's do that. It's unfortunate, but uh, I think it's the only way we get that kill. Now we've got the nice pierce. So the idea of the pierce is this. He's got 50 armor, but bam. Now we kill both of them on the bottom floor. That's the idea of that card. Um, but in all honesty, I don't think we're I don't think we're struggling anywhere. We've, we've got a pretty good system going at the bottom here. We are just churning out some damage right now, and we'll just chuck all of our gorges on the top floor. We have unlocked the melting remnants, so that'll be our next uh, that'll be our next big play. Is our melting remnants? Be our next big run. And we can do this, put you on the top floor, pardon me, okay, there we go, making of a morsel, give me a morsel minor to put up here as well, you are our, in case of emergency, black glass character, but uh, I don't think we're ever really going to reach that point with this bottom floor setup. So when we can set up our bottom floor like that, we are, we are golden. But what worries me, hell yeah, oh sorry. Heck yeah, YouTube. 
What worries me is uh, I deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to four times the amount of armor on friendly units. Jeez. On friendly units. To spells only affect one floor. Okay. I was about to say, that sounds a bit mad. Hmm. Yo, this is quite difficult. No. Ember Cash. But also, I don't want to add that many cards to our deck. I do prefer running a bit of a thinner deck. Except running a thinner deck in this game is strange because your cards stay on the field. It's not like Slay the Spy where it's once off, kind of. I mean, comparison to games like Gwent and other games in a similar vein, it's, it's pretty much the same, I guess. Alright. Damage shield to endless. I want to make something thick. Because you're protecting... I don't know how much our champion actually features in this entire thing right now. Don't actually think that much. No, you don't need that either. Let's remove one trends to it. Because they are reaching the point of useless now. See now, multi-strike I can work with, and then 25 armor or 25 HP or 20 more damage. You should be fine with your life still, honestly. No, I think I value damage too much. I think I've been punished by that in the past. Let's try and go more HP heavy. Let's see what's in our caverns? Crystal? Crystal? No, they're not crystal caverns. What are they called? Crystal? No. Which do you choose? Playing a blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy. When friendly units or summon the unit, plus one for every black card in the deck. I will take that because you do have two black cards in the deck. Well, we're going to have three now. All of our units are going to have three extra HP. Which isn't bad at all. Let's head on to the next one. I'm quite excited to see. How we face off against this boss because this boss this boss sucks man now i'm gonna take the multi shots on it i think i used it too squishy for multi shots oh they they might not be it's actually quite difficult to oh lord no okay so we're going to have to run things a tad bit differently Yeah, we're gonna have to do things a bit differently now just because of our how we drew. You need to go up here now. And you need to go down here. But instead of Yeah, we just we just chop things around essentially. Unfortunately. But I don't think it matters who ends up being the fed one either way, I think I think we call them. As long as someone does the eating. And uh, trains to it's all pretty useless. I'll use one to tank on the bottom floor. How many slay triggers do you have? Oh my soul. You're hitting like a trap or break a present, but you don't have much HP left, which is quite worrying. Yeah, those are all dying. I'll kill you for this so that I can just get these and keep these going. Uh, morsel miner we can fit on the top floor still. Let's get the morsel miner going on the top floor. Uh, you're dead. You're all dead. 59. Let's see after this. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo, 79. Wow. If we can find a way to keep this rail beater alive. Our, uh, our champion is actually going to deal some absolutely ridiculous damage. Okay, you need to stay alive so you can kill as many of these bastards as possible. Now, I think the only way we're actually going to manage to do that is to put two of them in front then. And put one of you in front there. And you can play making of a morsel. Get one at the back there. And play this and just see what we draw. It's fine. Get it out of our deck. Okay, we didn't get any damage done to the boss, but he should be dead. Either way. And that's without even reaching the top floor. Okay, we've got a really good setup here. 
Um, I just feel absolutely terrible for not <laughs> hitting record, though. It's 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 quite embarrassing. Kill a morsel units and trigger its consume two x. Mm. Making of a morsel. Mm, don't think we'll draw those cards in that specific order. Let's see what's here. No, no, we can't afford it, but let's just see. Mask of Penumbra. When you summon your first multi unit, just turn draw one. Light's gift. Apply days to any minions when they enter the floor below the pirate room. Not bad. None of those are like. Ooh. Ooh. This has screwed us more than. It hasn't, though. It's just gonna be train stoats on the middle floor then. No, I think I'm just going to take Rage, just not to count friendly units. I'm going to stack up some insane Rage, though. I, I was quite tempted to take the other option, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. The other option seems a bit more fun. And I, and I love getting... Oh, what is this? Oh, dude, this, this animation and card arts is so beautiful. Consume. Bone shine. Restore 2x pie health. Bone rattling. Enhance your pie. Oh, no. I don't want any of that. Thank you. Some things are best left alone, guys. Let that be a lesson to you. Some things are best left alone. Update on uh, my life. It is still the first. Is it the first today? Yeah, it's still the first. It is still... Or it is Tuesday, right? Oh, shit, it's Wednesday. Yo, guys. <laughs> I'm bad at this. It's Wednesday. How am I doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty well if my internet worked. It would have been even better, but I'm making a plan. I should still get the episodes up today. Should still get them up today. Um, and guys, that's pretty much all I've got to say for that for so long. You will die, right? No, I really wanted that thing to die. Because now we're going to draw the spitting units and then kind of play them on the bottom floor. Yep. Why did I tell you guys? Why did I tell you? I make myself so mad. The fact that I had to do that. It's just infuriating. Still have the issue where... I don't know how much longer our champion is going to live without his uh, real beater. Never mind. He just got his real beater. That's perfect. Okay, so bottom floor we've got two energy. One spot we can play. Play that up here. We should really keep an eye on where the encant unit is. That will actually make a big difference for us. They didn't make it up, but they did also get dazed and die. Damn, that thing is good. Holy cow. In any case, uh, let us. Ant Umbra Assault. Okay, so we can't kill you with Ant Umbra Assault. What we can do is start stacking these. And then do this. And then that again. Rage is not going to decay. That's going to stay there forever. Then we can enter Umbra Assault. And then play these two up here. I don't care what y'all say. I feel pretty clever right now. I was not expecting that. Alright, what's happening here? Be nice to kill you. Yes, we can. You're already dying and no one's making it to the top, as per usual. Alright. Let's end Umbra Assault you so we can feed this guy on the top. Then you're dying, you're dying. You aren't dying though, which kind of bugs me. But in all honesty, I'm just going to hit the boss for two. Alright, still going decently. They both did, even with the armor buff, even that guy's dead. So all we need to worry about is uh, strengthening our units. Ooh, let's no. Dang it. Let's hope. No, you have four HP, I meant to click on the other one, not you. You know what guys? What you get for trying to be a smart ass? 
Do we have anything we want to... No, we can just drop a transfer in front here. Man, I'm mad at me. If you think you're mad at me, you should see me. I'm pretty mad at me. Yes. Damn it. Oh, no. I, I did that dumb thing again. I really do love having an incredibly strong... Um, PS attack we can use. Okay, I guess you're getting some free armor. Making of a morsel. It's pretty I can't actually play the making of a morsel on that floor. Some good damage. Boss is down to a thousand one hundred. <clears throat> wow, this boss isn't actually dying. Hmm. That came across as incredibly cocky, but I didn't mean it is. Okay, oh, it's because it's got, uh, no, it's not. Doubling your armor allows you to survive for one extra hit. Our bottom, uh, our top floor might actually come into play this time. Nope, but never mind. Our champion is dealing 103 damage per hit, so no. And it's got multi-strike. So no, definitely won't actually come into play. Okay, Wretch could be incredibly good for us. But I think we're steering towards having too many ways to summon morsels and our deck getting too thick then. So what I'm thinking now is Alloy of the Ancients. I mean, that's 50 armor. It's 100 armor. No. Give me energy. Draw might actually have been the play there. Yeah, draw might really actually have been the play there. Didn't think about that one long enough. Uh, I can't take a side that gives me HP when I don't need it. Alright. Why am I keeping the trans turrets? I like dropping them in front for a bit of a... For a bit of a tanky situation for us. To absorb one extra hit. Now we're going to have way too many... Uh, one of these cards called Morsel cards. There's no way I don't duplicate that card though. It's, it's just too good. Okay. Do it three more times. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It would have been better if we still had our torches in, to be honest. Let's head over here and see what we can do here. Multi strike two. I think I'm gonna go for the multi strike too. We don't need it to scale it to scale any faster, and the armor is just too good. Having the one extra multi strike, I think scales better, especially when we just drop our rage on them. No, 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 no. I'm quite happy with where we are in this now. I'm feeling quite comfortable. This is generally this is the boss fight where I realize whether I've screwed up or not. Because generally at this time, I've got a good feel for how our deck functions. What do you guys actually do? Oh, yeah, that's better to just kill you while you're there, to be honest. Um, awesome. Great. See, this is, this is the problem when they die, they deal damage to the front unit. I'm going to have to tank with morsels here. Okay, that doesn't keep him much alive. It's because our deck has become too thick. We're not drawing the units we need early enough. It's actually a big problem. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
and it's umbra on you also and also and give me back this yes 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 this there we go okay that one got up to the pile but we should i, I honestly think we're good i don't see how we aren't we've got the the motor train going here I will use this. I won't trigger nature consume. This is a problem. Our unit is almost dead. That is, a, I won't, I won't argue. That is a problem. Ten, ten, ten. How many damage shields do you have, though? Are we in trouble? See, once again, I did lean more into HP upgrades this time around, but I think that's once again um, become quite a problem. What? No, why, why does this keep happening? I swear this keeps happening. Man. Man, this... How did I miss it again? Because that's exactly what happened last run. I was pretty sure our middle floor was fine, and then I focused for a bit on another floor, and then our middle floor just... upped and popped. Man, that sucks. We still have enough to kill the boss, but that was... And it's the second or third time that's happened to me on this specific fight. I think it's from the units who explode on death. I check, okay, they're all dying, yeah, we're fine, and then when they die, it just murders. Cindy and the Clyde Dazed. This could be good. Gain four. Cindy and the Clyde to you. I'm not gonna take another card. Mm. Okay, this is the only time I see this being applicable, is on the boss fights, you trigger all morsel units on this floor. Or we can go for Void Bending with Rage 6 that's not going to deteriorate with the Ember Drain. I think I'm going to go for that. Getting that extra damage out on our Multi-Strike Champion is just too good. I don't think I want to duplicate anything. I definitely want to remove trains to its bone. I wouldn't actually mind one more unit in our deck. So duplicate might have not have been the worst thing. Let's have a look what's here. Double stack. Mm, let's first just have a look over here. Sorry. The first time you should I saw two in your hand. And it's two cost of units. Start your turn, add a common or uncommon muscle to your hand. Hmm. I feel guilty for not taking the abandoned anti Umbra because it just guilt trips me right now. <laughs> I'm not. Our units aren't too expensive. But all units are free. That is essential. The card says all units are free. But the units only cost. You just pay for units once. It's not a returning cost. 
So this could be really good. Turn the enemy it dies. So every turn you're going to gain two morsels, or is this each turn you're going to gain one common or uncommon morsel? This one doesn't specify which morsels. I kind of want to take this one, but also kind of want to reroll. So I'm going to go for the reroll. Summon ability sugar twice. Chance to not consume enemies. I think allies enter with five armor is worth more than most of what we could have chosen there. Upgrade a spell with plus 10 power. Yeah, why not? And then uh, make making of a morsel a bit cheaper. Would have been good to reduce the cost of our rage cards as well. Seems that has become quite a big resource for us. Devours your spells, so whatever spells you play first, there's a chance of going away and never coming back. Should have taken the wings. Should really start reading that card at the start. Are you kidding me? We draw both of these on the first turn? Good lord, how is that fair? Beat it down here. Worth well, those are dying, he's taking the damage. That's fine as well. Let's get rid of these cards. Making of a morsel we can pop. Let's play it there. Can we draw the rest of our cards or is that illegal? Okay, there we go. Now we can draw them. Please tell me I have a way to kill these. I'm quite because I'm actually quite perplexed. Perplexed with how the bloody hell do we end up in this situation again? I joined two of those bosses on the same bloody turn, that's how. Man. At least that pie is incredibly powerful, so. Quite happy about that. At least we can get this guy ticking down. How much damage are you guys dealing? Not enough. And then I've got to get rid of all these cards. Man. So we need to draw one of our deal X amount of damage cards. As well as... Whatever unit we need to do. Oh, this does not bode well for that hope. Oh no, we still need to cycle through the entire deck. I'll be surprised if we even get the Crucible Warden out this fight. I'll honestly be surprised. We... Can can we even save you right now? 8 and 8 and 3. No, we can't even... Guys... This game is really weighing on my uh, psyche lately. It's not what I want to bag. I'm fine with the Ember Drain, honestly. Our, our literal last hope is just to get this guy. Let me scroll up. To get this guy to the point where he's an unstoppable menace and monstrosity. That's the only... That's the only way. Man, that would be nice. This isn't gonna happen. Oh wow. Oh. 
Has this game has been absolutely destroying me. How do you not deal more damage than five bloody hundred? You've got to have at least twenty freaking stacks of life steal. Oh. We unlock the melting remnant, so that's what we're gonna play next round, guys. Uh, please leave a like. I I I need your support in this this dark dark time of uh, sucking at Monster Train out of all games. Honestly, when I started playing Monster Train and and Dark Stone, it was like, oh, Dark Stone is gonna be a killer. No, Dark Stone is actually pretty fine. Monster Train has been a bastard, bro. In any case, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Anyone who's still here, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you want to see more content in the future, hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Adios.